we really try to offer as much as possible of different disciplines and cares under this roof. So people come in, they get the, their OAT, they see their psychiatrist for their mental diseases, they see their internal medicine doctor for their chronic internal medicine issues, they see the social worker. We have a pharmacy where we dispense all the medication, including HCV DAA treatment, HIV treatment, psychopharmacological treatment. And this allows us to provide treatment to people who would never attend an HIV clinic at a hospital or a hepatitis C clinic in a specialized center. Some years we have peer workers which help a lot to engage people within this whole care system. Today I'm working in the house. I connected with people who comes inside to take her substitute. And uh, one of the things we offer as peers is a quick test for hepatitis C. We do this for everybody who wants to do that, to test uh, if they are positive or not. In Switzerland, we were one of the first centers in Europe that um, used also long-acting morphine and did also studies on that. Now we have more people on, on heroin and more people on, on morphine than, than on methadone. In a system where the patients can choose more or less on their own what works best for them. It makes quality of life uh, quite a bit better as a, a drug user, a, a heroin user like me because the access is uh, not in an illegal surrounding anymore and uh, you get uh, quite a bit of life quality back. Diafin haben wir in Tablettenform und auch in Flüssigform zur ähm, intravenösen Injektion im Spritzenraum. Sie können wählen, wie viele Flüssigbezüge sie machen können, das ist bis zu sechs Mal pro Tag, oder ob sie Tabletten mitnehmen. Herr Gmühl wird heute kommen, er ist ein langjähriger Klient bei uns. Er kommt immer am Morgen, macht zweimal Flüssigbezug. Er nimmt dann auf Sicht Tabletten und kommt erst am Abend noch einmal, um einmal flüssig zu spritzen. Er hat sich so einen, einen eigenen Rhythmus gemacht. Also seit ich die Affin nehme, spare ich Geld. Weil mit Methadon habe ich ja immer noch Heroin konsumiert. Das sind gute Vorteile, ja. Ja, weil ich bin ja im Prinzip obdachlos. Und für mich zählt jeder Rappen. Philipp Buckmann he was one of my mentors. He always trust me, he always give me support and some uh, comfortable feelings. In 2015, when the AA treatment got available in Switzerland, that was just amazing. So people were waiting for, for this medication, but uh, it was extremely expensive, so it was limited access. But we could start um, patients, for example, like Andy, and I think that was for him a very special moment, life-changing moment when we could uh, cure him. That was incredible what happened there. The hepatitis C therapy with the tablet, also for me was it good. I had no Nebenwirkungen, and that is it's not more nachweisbar. For me, to be Hep C free means quality of life has doubled for sure. Yolanda, uh, as a social worker, she's she's been here for, for quite a long time, and uh, she's uh, definitely one person that uh, stands up for the rights for, for of opioid users. Definitely. My focus as a social worker is to support people in financial problem. Uh, some of our clients, they have a lot of problems with institutions. Uh, they are maybe afraid to make phone calls. They don't have enough information about their rights, so we try to empower them to ask for the rights they have. Erstens, weil es sehr häufig vorkommt, dass die Patienten akute, aber eben auch sehr oft chronische Wunden haben. 
Und wir bieten Ihnen ein möglichst flexibles System an, dass die Patienten, auch wenn sie unregelmäßig zu uns kommen, doch eine sehr gute medizinische Versorgung erhalten und sie damit nicht auf die Notfallstation müssen oder ins Spital müssen. Even though in Switzerland we have a great healthcare system and very liberal drug policy, but still we have a big issue when it comes to HCV care cascade because OAT is prescribed by more than 50% by GPs. Where there is no integrated care and that means that we have a lot of people still not tested and not treated. We have all the instruments ready to eliminate hepatitis C in our country, but there's still a lot of work to do.